stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off me. You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you? Save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Blood. Come on.
come all this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. You know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember... You meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. Rebecca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Let him go. Please. Why would I do that? I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. 
Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. I'll help you. Whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. Well, that's all I can ask. All right, now... Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try and really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that, but the herd is still what's gonna get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. 
What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you're not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. You're not going to believe what I'm looking at. There's got to be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What, about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah.
That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. That while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Thanks. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane... If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Alright, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got... And we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. 
Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go! Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Okay. It's okay. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine, and all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Luke, are you okay? That looks really old. He's probably fine. Where is he? Hey! You ain't supposed to be out here! You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up! Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. 
Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start by telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. No! God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Me go. Clementine! Help you me! You have to do this, Bill! <laughs> Supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. Then we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. We can't stay here. Exactly. We have no idea how long Alvin's got before Bill just kills him. We have to leave now. Look, I hear what you're saying, but it's risky. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. It don't look good. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. 
So we should risk all of our lives? No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. I'm all right, hon. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We can meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's go. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Yep, I got it. Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? No, 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 no! No, where are they? Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Alvin! Are... are you okay? Carver talks all the tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> There's something funny about that. You have the project. We have the know-how. How? Come on! We have to go! I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No! We're leaving. We're all leaving. 
I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, I've run out of road. Let's... No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you. Get back! Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Oh, God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Just shoot him. What? No, I don't... Go on and wait outside. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. We don't have time for this. I'm making time. Look at you. Fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man, huh? Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. Don't <laughs> run away. You know you want to see the show. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that I? Just pull my voice. It'll get you there. You got a big fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. That's not the Kenny I know in there. I wish... I thought I could save him. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Come on, we got enough to worry about. Man, we're never going to make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit. 
I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here, you're gonna need something. Thanks. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, God. Do it quick. We need to get uh, covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked. This isn't good. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Okay, now you turn around. Smells gross. Shit. Everybody It'll shut be okay, the fuck honey. up and Just get covered. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start... Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we... Ah! <laughs> you shut my dick up! Come on. Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! Is that Tavia? Where's Bill? We need him up here. Stay calm. Shh. We're gonna be okay. Don't run. Watch Sarah. Shh. Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get 
someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, damn it. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. <laughs>